American media has been the most disappointing thing I've ever seen in my life. Even working in countries like Egypt, I've seen pushbacks by certain journalists, reporters, TV hosts, by far much more than in this country. And you know, when you listen to people debating, oh, how did we not understand that Trump you know, would become a front runner? The signs were all there. The writing were on the walls. What were you thinking when, when, when for years, years, uh, since 9-11, the idea of us and them became, from marginal idea, became a mainstream idea. The them, you know, was your neighbor who was Muslim or, or Sikh or, or, uh, um, or eventually, uh, you know, Hasidic Jew or, Diversity, you know, the war on diversity started by eliminating critical voices in mainstream media in the United States. Look, I never been in my entire life, uh, I never worked so hard to make people understand what are the stakes. But I'm concerned for the next generation because, you know, when I grew up, obviously I watched that kind of journalist of Dan Rather and, and, and others. I think our children are growing up if they're in their fif if they're 15, 16, or 14, and they look for people to inspire them. I mean, if that person is Anderson Cooper, I want to jump from a window. Uh, the follow-up question is matter more than the question itself. To push back and to, you know, if your job is actually to expose lies, corruption, and and deflections, and push them to answer it, and the only person has been doing this somehow. And surprisingly, and I'm horrified to say that, has been people on Fox News. That this is the beginning of dismantling of a democracy of this country. And this is what is worrisome. The Israeli model is not contained in Israel. It's being transported and it's becoming part of the American model. So when you have police brutality and the police and you know the relation the cozy relationship in the media, it's becoming a cozy relationship in the police departments. The level of cooperation and, and propaganda has reached such a level that it's, today it's normal. We are the abnormal, we are the aberration. These people are writing the chapter of this nation history. We need to cooperate so we can push that message. And it can't be a parallel world, it must be a united world because the wave that is coming is by far much more dangerous. I've seen it in other places. I've seen it in Europe and I've seen it in the Middle East. But that kind of power, that kind of sentiment is still out there. It's not dead. It's dormant, but it's not dead. I am sure it will rise again. I am sure like I'm looking at you. And I hope in that moment we'll be ready to help them and build a bigger bridge, a bridge that will unite us here and in the Middle East. And it will not be about them and us, but it will be about all of us.